I don't listen. Um, okay, guys. So let's uh, le let's get uh, let's do the test. Okay. All right. Let me get back to the screen right now. Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, sure. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. So let's answer. Let's answer some questions. Okay. All right. Let me know if you can hear my uh, my screen. You got everyone here. All right. All right. So uh, let's see. Uh, Mauricio. Mauricio. Pick someone. Pick someone. Choose someone. Hey. Okay. Huh? Pick someone. Give me the name of someone from the group. Uh huh. Mauricio. What? Pick someone. Pick a person. Pick a person. Yes. Give me the name of a person. Angel, Dahlia, Gabriela, Douglas, uh, Jacqueline, Itzel. <laughs> Just pick someone. Okay. Uh -huh. Jacqueline. Jacqueline, right? Jacqueline. All right. So first question, Jacqueline. Uh, everyone, when you go off the uh, the beaten path, right? Mm -hmm. See. Si. All right. When you go off the beaten path, you, what does that mean? To do something unusual or to go somewhere far away? Which one do you think is the right answer? Everyone completed, okay? Completed in your platform. On your platform. Mm, no le he hecho, pero quiero verlas. All Sorry, right. Jacqueline. <laughs> ¿Cómo? He said sorry. Bueno. You good, you good, you good, Jacqueline. All right. Cuando so, tú... Okay, now, guys, do me a favor. Do me a favor. If you have a notebook, write down, write down the, um, write down this, okay? Go off the beaten path, okay? I need you to write it down in your notebook because that's an idiom, okay? So write down, go off the beaten path, all right? Como so, salir de lo común. Okay. Okay, very good, okay? You you, you got it, but down. No Spanish, no Spanish, right? Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, I know. All right. So, all right? So to do something unusual, <laughs> very good job, very good job, okay? Everyone, when something is founded, it is, repeat, guys, when something is founded, when something is founded, it is, it is, it is. now, let me ask you something, all right, it start, uh, started or discovered, what do you think, uh, Guillermo, Guillermo Maya, what do you think the answer for that is? Uh huh? Guillermo? It started. All right, to, okay, be, be very good, okay, because it means fundado, got it? It's not fundado, all right, very good job, very good job, all right? Now, next one, when something is, it went, when something is stunning, it is extremely? Attractive. Very good job, very good job, brother. Hey, hey, applause, applause for, for, for him, guys, super, super good job, all right? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, very good, Guillermo. All right, Guillermo, pick someone. Pick someone beautiful. <laughs> pick someone beautiful. Uh, Irene. Irene, let's go, Irene. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. All right, so Irene. All right, uh, let's continue, Irene. Irene, uh, when something is ancient, it is? <clears throat> it is what? Very old. Very good job, very good job. Applause for Irene, guys. One clap. Thank you. <laughs> I have plus and cool, right? <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Irene, pick someone, pick someone, Irene. Oh, maybe. Let me see. Ana Hiron. <laughs> Ana Hiron, right? Ana Hiron. All right, when something is complimentary, it is free of charge or very expensive. Hello. Anna? Anna, yes. Free of charge. Free of charge. Very good, very good. Applause for Anna. Very good, very good, very good. All right. Now, when something is, it went gooey. Repeat gooey. 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 Very good, very good. Okay. When something is gooey, it is 
light and refreshing or thick and sticky, okay? Uh, Gabriela Santos, let's go. When Gabriela? something is good, hot. Uh, it is light and refreshing or thick and sticky? It is light and refreshing. Light and refreshing. Uh, are you sure? Right? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Guillermo, what do you think? Is that the right answer? Guillermo? Hello, no, teacher. Is that the right answer? When something is gooey, it is light and refreshing. Uh, thick and sticky. Thick and sticky, right? All right. Write down. If you didn't know it, write it down in a number, okay? Gooey it means thick and sticky, okay? Let's see how you did. Let's see how you did. All right. Very good. Hey, you guys, big round of applause for you guys. Super, super, really good job, okay? okay. Baby, right. I have a question. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What is the meaning of gooey? Gooey. All right. The meaning of gooey is something thick and sticky. <laughs> Let me give you an example, okay? Let me show you an image of some. Have you seen like um, something like like gelat? No, no, like gelatina. No, something like um, sal saliva. You know, saliva, saliva, saliva can sometimes be gooey. Got, got it? Mm. All right, good. Yeah, got it. Let me show you an image of goo. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see video games. Okay. All right, so. There is an example, okay, something like this. So something like this, you know, are you seeing the image on my screen? Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me pull it up again. All right, so you see this, this blue thing, do you see this blue thing on the screen? So this is gooey. It's a liquid that is very dense, you know? Es un liquid que es bien denso, como que son, y que se puede así como, como la saliva, right? Sometimes, saliva. Como la baba. Exactly, la baba is gooey. Got it, got it, got it, got it, all right? When you see your crush, right? Very good, guys. All right, guys. So let's move on to the next topic, okay? Let's move on to the next topic. Remember to always finish the platform, all right? Let's go to the next chapter. All right. <clears throat> Do you have any questions so? F Do you have any questions so far? No questions. No questions. No David. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right, so very good. Uh, help me read. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have uh, Angel. Angel, okay. Angel, pick someone. Pick someone with beautiful feet. Beautiful feet. 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 Yes. What is? What is feet? Con pies, con pies bonitos. Elegí alguien con pies bonito, right? Ah. Uh. Just pick someone. I'm kidding. <laughs> I I can, yeah. I I I pick a I pick I pick Irene. Irene, okay. Irene, right? Everyone picks Irene for some reason. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right. Irene, help me read. Help me read. Okay. Lesson objective. Okay. By the end of this class, you will be able to use past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted. Interrupt is okay? All right. How, how, another, how, how, continue, continue, just finish. Uh -huh. Okay, by another com completed. Oh, sorry. Okay, very good job. Hey, applause for her. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so uh, pronunciation. How do you say interrupido in English? Uh, Mauricio, how do you pronounce that? Hello? How do what? you how do you pronounce this word right here? The one the one that I'm highlighting. Highlighting. Yeah, like estoy um, highlighting. In, how do you pronounce interrumpido in English? How do you say interrumpido? Uh huh. Mm, interruption. No, okay, very good. Okay, very good. Good try. Okay, everyone interrupted. 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 Right? interrupted by a not completed action. Very good, very, good. very good. All right. So let's watch the video, guys. So let's watch the video, okay? Remember to always, always take notes when you're watching a video, all right? Very good. And the dog barked. Hi, everyone. Are you ready? Let's go now talking about past continuous versus simple past. 
I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past Continuous versus Simple Past Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. All right. All right, let's take, uh, let's read that, okay? Let's take a look at that. Um, uh, Mr. Anna, Anna, let's go. Help me read, okay? They went. Let's go. Anna? Anna? Hola, hello. All right, help me read. Help me read, okay? They went. They went to the movies. Very good job. Pick someone, Anna. Pick someone. Uh... Mauricio. Mauricio, let's go. He? Hello? He right. came home. All right, very good. He, everyone, he came home. He came home. Very good job, very good job, Mauricio. Right. And everyone, she drove my car. She drove my car. She drove my car. Very good job, very good job, guys. All right. All right, let's continue. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now, let's... All right, remember that structure, guys, okay? Um, pull up, I mean, just, just, just do it yourself uh, later on, all right? But the structure is very important. Now, do me a favor, guys. Do me a favor. Real, real quick. In uh, one minute, write down the structure, okay? Write down the structure. I need you to write it down so you can memorize it, okay? Let's go, write down the structure. Remember, subject, it could be I, you, he, it, we, they, um, and then the verb in the, uh, in the past and a compliment. All right. That's for a positive sentence. For a negative sentence, subject plus the auxiliary didn't plus the verb in base form and compliment. All right, you got four, 45 seconds. Are you good, guys? Are you good? You can, all right, are you? We are ready. Okay, very good, very good. Let's continue. In mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Very good job. Uh, Mr. Mr. Um, actually, Douglas, 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 my brother. Uh, what do we use past continuous for? Hello? Uh, Douglas, what do we use past continuous for? Uh, what do we use past continuous for? Yeah, para que usamos past continuous? Okay, I'm gonna write it down in the chat. Uh -huh. To express an action that just happened. Uh, okay, 
remember, it's over here, right? It's an unfinished action that was interrupted by another action. O sea, una acción que se te rompió en el pasado. Uh, well, we're going to see some examples. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take notes on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. All right, guys. All right. All right. Everyone do my favor. Just quickly write down the structure for past continuous. Got it? Got it? Got it? Say yes if you got it. Got it, guys? Okay, write down no. the structure for no. past continuous, okay? Escriban la estructura de past continuous. All right, let me know when you're ready, guys. I'm ready. Very good, very good. All right, let's continue. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative sub Let me speed that subject up. I past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, last week I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Very good, very good guys. Uh, just a quick tip guys, last, we cannot use it with that, okay? We do not use an article when we use last, okay? Unless you're being really, really, really specific. So when you say last, you cannot say, the last right just a tip okay do not say right do not say the last it's last week right last last summer or next week not the next the next week okay okay all right very good uh so let me show you an example guys okay let me give you an example with why when and why okay and then you're gonna practice all right everybody uh Everybody look at the screen, okay? So, uh, if you ask me, what were you doing yesterday night, okay? I will reply, yesterday, I was watching a movie. Now, here is here's, here's, uh, the difference between when and while, guys. Remember, if the action got interrupted, that means that we need to use when. Okay, if the action, if two actions happened at the same time, we use while, okay? I was, so now, if I say uh, I was watching a movie, give me a sentence that, uh, an action that, that got interrupted, okay? Let's use when, all right? Remember, when you use went, it is simple past, okay? When, uh, let me see, let me see, uh, itself, itself. I was watching a movie when, Um, uh, right. I was 
I was watching yes, a movie when uh, you call me. Very good, all right? Applause, applause for her. Very good, very good, very good, all right? Exactly, all right? I was watching a movie when you called me. See? La acción se interrumpió. Got it? All right? So, vos estás yes, viendo, vos estás viendo ahí, eh, no sé, tu película y de repente tu mamá te, te llamó y, y se interrumpió la, la, la acción de que estaba viendo la película, all right? All right, very good. Now, uh, so I can say when my mom, my mom called me, okay? All right, now, uh, let's say I was, I was playing, no, I was, um, I was eating, okay? I was, I was, um, I was eating a hamburger. Hamburger. All right, let's use while, All right? Remember, while is for two actions at the same time, okay? And after what, it is, uh, it is uh, past continuous, right? Or past progressive. All right, so uh, Itzel, pick someone, pick someone. Um, Dalia. Dalia, Dalia, Dalia. Okay, let's go, Dalia. Uh, I was eating a hamburger while I was drinking a soda. Be, be beautiful job, all right? Big round of applause, guys. Super, super, super good job, all right? All right. I was eating a hamburger while I was drinking a soda. Very good. Hey, guys, you're very good. I'm proud of you. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get you in teams right now, guys, but before, uh, let's answer this question, okay? All right, so uh, help me read. Help me read. Um, um, no, 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 no. Dalia, pick someone. Pick someone, Dalia. Okay. Mm hmm I can I can see the picture. Just just uh, read a name. Give me a name. Ah, okay. okay. Um, Gabriela Santos. All right, Gabriela Santos. All right, very good. Thank you, Dalia. Thank you, Dalia. All right, Gabriela Santos. Let's go. Uh, help me read the instructions. Um, complete the sentences. Use the verbs in bra bracket. Very good. Using, using the correct tenses. Okay, very good job, very good job. Okay, so guys, before we answer these questions, let's get some practice, okay? So what you're going to do is that you're going to ask the person that you practice with, hey, what were you doing yesterday night, okay? Everyone, what were you doing? Everyone, repeat after me. What were you doing yesterday night? What were you doing yesterday, were you doing? yesterday night? Yesterday night. Okay, very good. Night. Remember, final sounds. Night. 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 There you go. Como que estás tornando too, right? Night. All right, very good. Night. All right, so that's the question that you're going to ask the person, okay? So let me get you into the rooms right now. All right. I think I'm going to recreate it. For... Very good, very good. All right, let's get together, guys. Let's get together and practice, okay? All right, join. Hi, Irene. Uh, all right, all right. Let's let let me hear you guys. Let me hear you. Okay, so I want you to use when and why. So, um, I was yesterday night. I was eating pupusas while I was also talking with my boyfriend. You know, or I was cheating on my boyfriend. Ah, just kidding, right? Practice, practice. Okay. Irene, what were you doing yesterday night? This night? Uh, yesterday. Ah, last night. Okay. Yes. I was cooking. Very good. I was cook. I was cooking while my son was studying. Very good job. Beautiful, beautiful job. Okay. Now you ask. Okay. You ask Irene. Irene. Okay, Elisa. What are you doing this morning? Okay, now, what were you doing yesterday yesterday night? Uh, um, uh, what, 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 what were you doing? Uh -huh. yesterday. yesterday. Yesterday night. Very good, huh? Um, I uh, I was uh, studying 
studying English. Very good job. When when my dog um how do you say more there? Uh with oh with my dog um beat me. Beat me. My dog beat me beat me. <laughs> oh oh did that happen? Was is that a true story? <laughs> no, no. Okay, all right, continue. Hey, very good job, all right? I'm glad, okay? You're doing a good job, right? Let me okay. switch to rooms, okay? Keep practicing, keep practicing, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, and read the number hello, two. Hello, 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 all right? Let me hear you guys, let me hear you, okay? Continue. Several okay. years ago, and um, it was fun. How a problem with math. So I um, had a tutor to help me. Mm. Okay. All right. Very was good. having. Was having. Okay. No. So, okay. So remember, remember, okay. Yeah. Uh, what were you doing yesterday night? Okay. Que esta haciendo ayer noche? Okay. I want you to use when and why. Okay. I was eating pupusas when my mom called me. I was eating mm -hmm. pupusas while I was also cheating on my girlfriend. No, no just kidding, right? While I was also texting, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let me hear you. Ah, me perdí. Vamos a responder las preguntas. No, una pregunta que el teacher colocó. Oh, de... La pregunta abierta que dejó él. Yeah, let, sí. me say, let, me, let me send you a message, okay? What, oh. what were you doing yesterday night, okay? That one, mm. right? Okay. And you have to answer just using when and why, okay? That's all I want to hear. Got it? Got it. Uh, yesterday night was running with my dogs. Very good. Oh. Uh -huh. yes, yes. yes. While, while or when? Uh, can be. Yesterday night I was running with my dogs when my... When my puppy running away from me. <laughs> nice, very good, right? When my puppy, when my puppy ran away from me, okay? I run. Okay, mm. ran away. The pass of run is, Anna? Ran, right? Run. Ran, run. Ran, 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 right? Ran away from me, okay? Very good. All right, very good, all right? I'm gonna switch, continue, guys, continue, right? Same question, just switch, okay? Anna, what were you doing yesterday night? Well, number seven. Oh, hello, hello, number guys. Seven. How you doing? How you doing? All right. So remember, the question is, what were you doing yesterday night? Right? You have to use when or while. Okay. That's what I want to hear. Continue, guys. Continue. You're doing a good job. Okay. Tracy and Eric was meeting. Uh, I think the teacher wants we we have to say what we what we were doing yesterday night. Exactly, there you go. Tienen que preguntar what were you doing yesterday night, right? Que estaba haciendo ayer noche. Okay. All right. I was studying English mm -hmm. when my mother come back. Okay. Came back. Very good, very good. Okay, Douglas, good job, brother. Good job, Angel, Angel. Uh, tell me, what is, uh, what is, what is the past of, uh, come, come back? And the past is came. Came back, right? Very good. Came okay. Back. One more time, Douglas. Say it one more time. I was studying English when my mother came back. Very good job. Hey, applause for Douglas, guys. All right, very good, very good, very good. All right, uh, Mauricio, okay, so what were you doing yesterday night? Now, use while, use while, okay? Remember, two actions at the same time. Uh, yesterday in, in the night, uh, I was uh, studying English in the platform. All right, just read it like this. Yesterday night, yesterday in the night? No, yesterday night, okay? Yesterday, yesterday night. Very good, I was studying English in the platform. While, platform. while, while, hmm? uh, uh, I was uh, conversation 
with my wife. Okay, I was talking. I was talking while I was talking. I was talking. I was talking while I was talking to my wife. I was talking with my wife. Okay, very good job, very good job. All right, let's get back. All right, very good job, guys. Super good job. Now remember, guys, para dos acciones en el en el al mismo momento, you use past per. I mean, uh, past continuous. Okay, or past progressive. The same thing. I was eating pupusas while I was also singing. I was listening to music while I was eating. All right. Okay. Dos acciones que están ocurriendo en el pasado, right? If an action gets interrupted, si la acción se interrumpe, use when. Got it? Got it, got it? Okay, That's we got it. Very good, very good, right? Let me get back, guys, right? All right, guys, so welcome back, welcome back. Let's get everyone back again. All right, all right, right. All right, guys. So, questions. Do you have any questions right now uh, with um, with past progressive or when and what or while? Do you have any questions? No. You're all good. All right, very good, very good. All right, I didn't hear any replies, so I'll, I hope we don't have any questions then. All right, guys, so let's complete the first one, okay? So let's complete, the, let's do the knowledge check. All right, so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Gabriela. All right? Yes. So, Gabriela, uh, the first answer, okay? My brother... My brother what? My brother was snowboarding. Okay. When he? When he broke his leg in several places. Oh, my God. Beautiful, beautiful job. Action got interrupted. Yes or yes? Yes. Okay. Very good, right? Very beautiful job. Okay. Pick someone. Pick someone, Gabriela. Um, Itzel. Itzel. Let's go, Itzel. Uh, number two, several years ago, I. Uh, several years ago, I was having problems with math, so I found a tutor to help me. Okay, so I found a tutor to help me, okay? Found, all right? Very good job, very good. Okay. Very good. All right, uh, pick someone, pick someone else. Um... Mauricio. Mauricio, let's go, Mauricio. Number three. Number all right, pronunciation. Everyone three. Three, Mauricio. Three. Three. Very good, very good. Okay. Three. three. Number three. Uh -huh. Okay. Three. Como la set, la zeta, right? Three. All right. Three. Uh the couple, what? The couple was having their fears till when they lived in a thirty. A tiri apartment. All right, all right. Tiri, tiri, okay, tiri. Tiri, apartment. Good. Now, the couple were having, were living, oh. was having, okay, the couple was having, are you sure, was having their first child? The first year when they lived in a tiri apartment. Okay, all right. Let me ask you something. Can we say, ellos estaban teniendo su primer hijo? Can we say that that's a sound? Is that progressive? So, teniendo un hijo, is that something that is happening continuously? Es algo que está pasando constantemente? No. All right, so when they had their first child, okay? Had. Yes, the couple had their first child when they... When they had in a tiry apartment. When they were living in a tiry apartment, okay? Very good job. Living. All right. All right, that's should... living. Right. All right, next one, next one, next one, okay? Uh, pick someone else, pick someone else. Elisa, thank you very much, Elisa. 
yes. Hi. Um, why I was driving in Ireland a uh -huh. few years ago. I was realizing on the wrong side of the road. Okay, everyone realized, pronunciation realized. 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 All right, I realized, what is realized? Me di cuenta, okay? I was on the right side. Very good job, very good job, okay? Uh, pick someone else, pick someone else. Um, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, number five. Number five, Jacqueline. Boy, boy, ahorita. All right, very good, very good. Uh, Ul Ulrich se dice. Ulrich, yeah, yeah, very good. Ulrich. Ulrich was reading a good book, but uh -huh. someone told her the ending. Very good job, a hey, beautiful, beautiful job, okay? All right, uh, pick someone else, pick someone else. Mm, Guillermo Amaya. Guillermo Amaya, let's go, number six. Okay. Uh -huh. Number six, Guillermo. Okay, wait a picture. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm here with a script teacher. I'm here. Yes, you need to, uh, yeah, okay, very good, okay. So while my mother, remember to unmute yourself because I muted everyone else. So while my mother. Why my mother? Uh huh. Uh, was cooking. All right, while my mother was, was cooking, uh huh, dinner last night, the phone. The phone rang. The phone rang three times, okay? Very good, okay? Three times. Last one, last one, okay? Pick someone, pick someone. Angel, actually, Angel. Let's go, Angel. Next one. Very good job, very good job. Last <clears throat> one. The, uh, Tracy. All right, Tracy. 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 Tracy, Tracy and Eric. Uh -huh. And Eric uh, met when they uh, were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Okay, when they're very, very beautiful job, guys. Hey, guys, applause for you guys. Super, super good job, okay? All right, guys, so, all right, so this is, uh, all of them are correct. You guys are very, very, very good, okay? All right, guys, so this is where we're going to take, uh, left, uh, leave off right now. Before you leave, guys, before we, we finish, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions, any comments, something that you like about the class, something that you don't like about the class? Let me know. Any feedback? Teacher. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Eh, fíjese que quizás no tiene mucho que ver, no sé, pero estuve en módulo uno de principiantes y ahora estoy en intermedio y, o sea, siento un gran cambio. Creo que sí lo puedo lograr porque antes estuve recibiendo clases de inglés, Ajá. pero creo que me tengo que poner al día con algunas cosas que debo aprender como para estar a este nivel. Oh, que lo puedo hacer en, en el transcurso del día, aparte de lo de la plataforma. Así que voy a tratar de poner todo mi empeño para lograrlo. <risa> ok, all right. So, te, te pusieron, te saltaron demasiado. Sí. Oh, sí, okay. pero... Don't worry, la sea, primera vez siempre es bien, bien frustrante a veces, pero it happens, don't worry. <risa> ok. Hey, thank you. Uh, do you my favorite, guys. Siempre, siempre recuerden de hacer la plataforma. Eso es lo más importante. En la plataforma, eh, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá hoy. Uh, guys, ¿tienen algún comentario, algún feedback? Uh, something that you like, so questions, whatever you want to say. Uh, we have, um, I'll give you like two minutes or three minutes before we leave, okay? Um, yes, okay. I wanted to ask you if in this week we are going to be studying the, just the section number one or both? Section no, number one two. two. Number one and two, okay? Number one and two. Right now, I needed to focus more in section number two, though, okay? Okay. Right. All right, very good. Uh, another question? Angel? No? No, teacher. Mauricio? No, teacher. Thank you, uh, teacher. Okay, very good. Hey, 
Very good. Okay. Ana, Dalia, Elisa, Itzel, Gabriela, no, no question? No, solo que nos ayude a ser un poquito más sueltos, porque yo siento que eso es lo que nos falta. Okay. Tener un poco más de vocabulario, por eso es que nos quedamos así como que un poco mudos al momento de contestar, de un poco más de guía, pues porque es cierto, estamos en un módulo 3, pero siempre cuesta un poco, porque no es lo mismo que uno pasa hablando inglés todo el día, a que solo un ratito en la noche. Entonces, okay, pero ese yeah. ratito en la noche, que usted haga la diferencia.